Chooks Outdoor Adventures. Chook, is that you? No! F***ing Chook! Howdy folks, Chook here with Chooks Outdoor Adventures. Little bit different format today as I no longer have the bunker. I am currently homeless, living in my truck down by the river. Check out my overland videos to see my journey. It's pretty crazy. I'm getting shot at and everything. But anyways, I'm here to review the KS7. I've always disliked kel strongly. I've always thought they were weak plastic guns. Their reliability was horrible. They always broke. They were cheap just very useless guns that has changed recently it started with the cp33 long windy road got that he competed with it ingenious little 22 i thought that was cool and recently i went over to do it right ak's alaskan bunker with his hickok 45 range in his backyard check out do it right ak very cool alaska channel he got the ks7 and he likes it now i really respect his opinion he's got lots of knowledge on all kinds of things but he likes bullpups i also like bullpups i haven't had one recently i don't know if i've ever had one but anyways i'm very excited about this ks6 or is it the ks7 it's ks7 i think it's awesome now the the ksg i thought was ridiculous because that's just like it just wasn't practical with the big fat three tubes on it which is kind of ridiculous this however is very interesting and i think it's perfect for very bear defense in alaska with the one tube that holds six or seven shells you can have one in the chamber as far as reliability it was good but of course it's keltex so it needed some minor tinkering now i went over to do it rights and he had me practice this drill where i we had these snap caps 12 gauge snap caps where i'd fire one have a, a round in my hand and then load a shell and then fire and load another shell and we he after 10 minutes of practicing i was doing it very quickly he was doing it even faster then we went out with real shells and it was sticking in the chamber while trying to load it he has since had his gunsmithing friend chamfer the chamber a little bit and now it feeds smoothly so there is some tinkering that may need to be done but for the price, the price has gone up. Originally, it was like 500 bucks. Now it's gone up by a couple hundred. I don't think you can go wrong with this gun for bear protection in Alaska, especially. I mean, what's not to like about a bullpup 12 gauge? You've got an 18 and a half inch barrel in a very short package because it's a bullpup. Um, the carry handle is awesome. It's one of the best features about it. it. Reminds me of like a G36 or something. It, it's the sight was really cool. The sight picture, and you could put a light on it. Anyways, I'm a big fan of the carry handle. Everything, the controls felt good. I mean, carrying this shotgun out in the bush because that's what I would be doing on a hunting trip or fishing. I, I use the carry handle a lot. Really handy. Do it right, didn't think it kicked too hard. I, I thought it was pretty stout. It's a 12 gauge, but with the bullpup format, it, it did uh, slam into your shoulder pretty good, but it's a 12 gauge, you just get used to it. I think that it's perfect for bear defense, fill it with slugs, have some extra slugs with you, and you're, you're just able to get shots off really short shotgun so you're just going to get it off quickly but here's some footage for us testing it out in the range i actually want one of these things if i had to pick a bear defense shotgun for alaska i would choose this thing and i understand now why david chose it so and remember you, your goal is to just use the shell to push right. up on the arms 40 degree angle if it's a little bit caught, just use this to throw it the rest of the way. Then it's in. Okay. And then don't look at it. Try chicken winging. Chicken winging. And then turn it a little bit turn it for it. yourself. It's going to be hard to do with gloves on. Yeah, it is. It's totally doable. Yeah. See if I can get faster.
and I took my eye off the target. Idiot. It's okay. It's all right. As long as you're conscious and aware of your actions, that's the biggest thing. chicken winging improperly all right now let's go ahead and try doing two rounds all right two rounds sequentially now what this is mm -hmm. is all we're gonna do it's the same thing that you learn but it's stupid simple because all you're doing is you're adding one more round to your hand yeah so you start out i'd recommend using your thumb to hold the one that's not going to get loaded yet yeah and then use these two to push up. I, I think one of the techniques that you might have missed was, I see that you're using only your index finger. Yeah. Using both your index and middle finger to push on both sides. Okay. And then transferring to just your thumb would be a good idea. And then once you're there, and once you're in the shoulder, load it up. And then you're good to go. Nice. Fast. So chicken wing it, turn it towards yourself a little bit better. A little there you go. That way it's more mechanically in line. Okay, so this one goes, I don't know why I always have problems with that. I was doing it better with the snap caps. Oh, I looked. Oh, there we go. Okay, that goes up. And this one in the tube. And you can do that from the shoulder position. From the shoulder position. <laughs> it's not even in your shoulder right now. It's like hovering. It is. <laughs> uh, every time. Now, where the frick is the tube? Okay, the tube's right there. It, like I said, if you push up and there we push go. forward while you're pushing up, you ain't going to miss it. I like it. Now, this is great for bear protection. That's why you got this, right? For gold mining? Yeah. Yep, when I go up there, I don't want to have to carry around the uh, Tavor 7. I don't need 20 rounds for a bear, necessarily. I mean, if I did... You know, Dawn of the Deadly Bears. Yeah. So. No, this is perfect. Yep. Pretty handy. I mean, even fully loaded, you're looking at, what, like seven pounds? Yeah. And it's a convenient carrying handle. The thing is hitting right on. I can attach a light. Very G36-ish. I, I like it. So we're out here testing the KS7. Please uh, subscribe to Do It Right AK's channel. Well, this is pretty sweet. Keltec. I've never been... A big fan of Keltec, but some of their newer stuff I really like. Like, I wouldn't mind one of these. This hole right here, you can uh -huh. get one of those rail systems that you can screw in here. Potentially, uh -huh. you might have to drill this bigger, but kind of like the AR carrying handles. Okay. And you might have to drill this a little bit bigger, but get a rail system. And that way, instead of having to bend down or buying the new rail, right. you can just buy a cheaper rail that will go into here and then... Put a sight on top of that so when you're actually shouldering it uh -huh. you're only shouldering it like this it's actually quite natural to go from here instead of having to go all the way down here some people nice. say i want to do a cheek weld when you're shooting barrel loads i don't think you're going to want to do a cheek weld with barrel right. loads but yeah so we'll just start there and So that's a wrap up for the KS7 review. Let me know what you think. Please like, share, and subscribe, comment, and I'll see you next time in my truck down by the river. Thanks, guys. My name is Duke. I like to train my guns just for fun, but now I have none. Oh, look at Chuck my bear, but I don't care. I got a 10 millimeter. Shoot out adventures. Watch you all die every time. Guaranteed.